we are going into the next level so we have to be more aggressive and to be more disciplined how many of you understand we should keep the word in our life we do not turn right or left from the word then only god will make you uh, efficient for the ministry so i am happy to see all of you here first of all i will tell you what is the importance what is uh, the uh, significance of this ministry this ministry is to equip uh, ministers as end time revivals throughout the nations so god will be sending people who are faithful from here not only from here we are having ministry around the world everywhere outside kerala mangalore bangalore mumbai pune uh, then uh, northern parts like punjab calcutta delhi and uh, haridwar likewise in many places uh, uh, around the world in different nations we are having this uh, group so god will uh, select those who are faithful how many of you are happy so we should be very well disciplined only disciplined people can do the ministry so i will uh, correct some people those who are not keeping the word i will correct them those people who are not keeping the word will not be allowed to do the ministry how many of you understand so it is very strict because we are going into the next level but don't tell i am speaking to some a particular person because whenever i go to every place not only here every place when i go there will there will be some people who are creating problems there how many of you understand are you understanding what i am saying so don't call me pastor why you said like this you speak you spoke to me why you are saying like this don't say like that because everywhere when i go there i can find people who are jealous who don't like other people to grow so i am not speaking to a particular person here i am speaking to everyone everyone outside kerala outside india everyone all the uh, americans all the europeans all the asians all the south americans and australians to everyone i am speaking so i find some people are uh, not happy in bringing other people one sister came 3 uh, weeks back and said some people are speaking against that sister there is a cert i find uh, Uh, that sister was saying there was a certain group of people here and criticizing other that is not good how many of you understand those who are jealous cannot minister here those who keep jealousy in their heart cannot minister here those who don't like other people to grow they will not be allowed to minister here are are everyone understanding what maybe uh, rajin brother is understanding what i am saying if anyone does not understand you can translate he is not listening to what i am saying say what i am saying is uh, jealousy people will not be allowed to minister here those who speak evil things about others will not be allowed to minister here this is a uh, disciplined church that's why i said we are going into the next level if anyone i told you that this ministry is mainly it is to equip ministers for end time revival those who are god wanted they will be selected and they will be chosen and sent to different parts of the nations how many of you understand so uh, we have put the board as raising up an army you have read this raising up an army for end time revival so everyone should have the mind of an army like a soldier amen you cannot say i am having back pain i am not well such people cannot minister here how many of you understand i have some loans to pay so i am very sad such people cannot minister here how many of you understand this is well disciplined church we want discipline we don't allow those people who don't, don't like others there's a word in the book of colossians uh, 3:13 what it is saying 
Praise the Lord. What did you say? You can also read in your language. Ah. Ah. So what it is saying, it is saying Colossians 3.13, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. That, that's why it said you should not keep hatred with any person here. If you are keeping hatred, if you cannot forgive any person, don't come and minister in this platform. How many of you understand? You have to love one another. Two weeks back, one sister came and complained. She was listening, somebody was whispering. That person has come. And she was asking me, how people will come in this church? Why some people are having some groups and speaking evil things? How many of you understand? I am not speaking to any particular person here. I am speaking to generally. So she was asking me how people can come here in the church because people are speaking negative things against some people. So such things will not be allowed. So you have to forgive one another. Christ forgave. So likewise we have to forgive one another. How many of you are happy? Then only God can use you in the kingdom. If you have hatred with your husband or wife, you cannot come and minister here. You have to love your enemies. What Jesus has taught us? Jesus has taught us to love the enemies. The Gentiles are loving their friends. The worldly people are loving their friends. But what is the difference of Christianity and other people? The difference between Christianity and other people are, is loving enemies. We have to love enemy. If you cannot love enemy, please don't come and minister here. Are you understanding what I am saying? <laughs> when I was coming here, the sound was too much. The sound was too much. We need only uh, next week on which Tamarashan brother has to sit on the back side. When I come to minister, then you can sit here. And you have to listen. Some people will sing loudly. Some people will preach loudly. Some people will speak very lowly. So you have to control, control the, uh, the sound according to those people who are ministering. Am I right? Sometimes you have to put the volume up. up. Sometimes you have to put the volume down. Some people are singing loudly. So you have to discern these things and put the volume down like that. I think you have understood. Only he has the authority to operate. This is discipline. Everyone has a special duty. How many of you understand? I think you are understanding what I am saying. Because God wants some faithful people from here. Those who are jealous, those who are speaking. Some people when they go uh, out here, they are speaking against uh, some uh, believers. These things are not allowed. They are speaking. I am not bothered. They are speaking against, against the pastor. I am not bothered, but I am just saying. You are here to become a minister. When you are invited to a church, you will do the same thing when you go to another church. There, somebody will come and contact you and you will speak evil things against those people there in that church. What is uh, the, the word James 4.11 says? James 4.11, you can... Eh? Ah. 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 Do not speak evil of one another... Brother, and he who speaks evil of a brother and judges his brother speaks evil of the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law but a judge. So what I am saying is anyone comes, some people are, in, there is their inborn nature to criticize others. So 
Anyone who is in Christ will become a new person. He should be born again. 